A long, long time ago, a man and an ogre came to Kitakami from a foreign land. The people of the village feared the man and the ogre, who looked so different from them, and so they refused to let the travelers come anywhere near the village. The man and the ogre were saddened that the villagers did not welcome them, but they were happy just to have each other. They settled quietly in a cave on the mountain. There was only one villager who pitied the two travelers, the village mask maker. He made several masks for the man and the ogre. The masks were brilliant works, adorned with gems the man brought from somewhere far away. By wearing these masks, the travelers could hide their true faces and mingle with the villagers. The man and the ogre were overjoyed. They thanked the mask maker for his kindness. Wearing the masks, the man and the ogre started secretly joining the village festival. The mysterious pair soon became the talk of the village because of their brilliant masks. In fact, rumors about them quickly spread far and wide, even to distant lands. But rumors of exquisite, shining masks attract more than just innocent curiosity. A group of greedy Pokémon soon made their way to the land of Kitakami. These Pokémon sneaked into the cave in which the man and the ogre lived and tried to make off with the masks, which were carefully stored away. The man happened to be there. He managed to hold on to one of the masks, but he was not strong enough to protect them all. The Pokémon stole the other three masks. Several hours later, when the ogre returned to the cave, it found its beloved home in ruin. All that was left were the signs of a struggle and a teal mask. The ogre donned that mask and went down to the village, perhaps to search for its friend. It found the greedy Pokemon there, gloating over their stolen masks, and defeated them. The villagers, of course, had no idea what was happening, nor why. All they saw was the raging ogre, and they felt great fear. The villagers thought the three Pokemon had fallen trying to protect the village from the ogre. To honor their sacrifice, the villagers named them the Loyal Three and interred them with care. Wounded and weak, the ogre returned to its cave alone and with great sadness 